Hi, Gary Searman. It is March 1st. It is Thursday. Time for another news update from Prophecy in the News. And we're going to be uh, quoting from a recent speech made by Representative uh, Alan West. He's a Republican from the state of Florida uh, with a great deal of military experience in his background, by the way. And he was speaking to an audience at the First Baptist Church in West Palm Beach recently. And he said, and by the way, in warning tones, that Israel could become the site of a second holocaust if the United States does not take further actions to protect the Jewish state against Iran. And this is a quote. He said, you're looking at a second holocaust if Israel doesn't know they can trust and depend on the stars and stripes to provide them support. There will be no spiritual homeland for Christians to return back to, he said, if that Holocaust does occur. By the way, he's just referring to the fact there that uh, many thousands of Christians do make pilgrimage to Israel every year, and he's saying you might not have the chance if this Holocaust does occur. There will no, be no homeland for the Jewish people in the United States of America for their birthright. He's saying there, many Jews are planning on returning to Israel, particularly uh, if signs of the coming Messiah approach. And uh, he's simply making the statement that they may not have a place to go to if this uh, Holocaust occurs. He says this is a dangerous situation. We have to take the Iranians uh, for their word. He also warned that the current political turmoil in Syria could lead the country to engage in war against Israel. And of course, we've talked about Iran and Syria possibly coming against Israel for some time now. What happens, he asks, if all of a sudden Syria doesn't focus on fighting each other, but rather they turn their efforts toward fighting Israel? West, a veteran of the Iraq War, has been among the, the most vocal pro-Israel supporters in Congress. He expressed disapproval uh, at President Obama for calling for a two-state solution, uh, saying that the United States cannot negotiate with the Palestinian Authority. <clears throat> Today's endorsement by uh, President Barack Obama of the creation of a Hamas led Palestinian state based on the pre-1967 borders single signals the most egregious foreign policy decision his administration has made to date and could be the beginning of the end as we know it for the Jewish state. So he went on record as being against that, uh, that endorsement that was made by the Obama uh, administration, uh, well, quite a while ago now. Quote, President Obama has not stood for Israel or the Jewish people and has made it clear where the United States will stand when Palestine attempts to gain recognition of statehood by the United Nations. So this is a pretty severe speech from Representative uh, Alan West of Florida. He's also stated, and stated in this speech, that America should never negotiate with a Palestinian authority which has aligned itself with Hamas. Palestine is a region, not a people or a modern state, he said. Now, I would dif differ with uh, Alan West in one respect, and that is this Holocaust he's talking about is not going to be for the Jews. It's going to be for the people who come against the Jews uh, because we read time and time again in Scripture that when the invading armies of the latter days come against Israel, they will be flatly defeated. Uh, in fact, Zechariah 12.4 is just a marvel of description in that respect. Uh, in that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and their rider with madness, and I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength and the Lord of hosts their God. In that day, I will make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood, like a torch of fire in a sheaf, and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. 
And I, I would like to say to uh, Representative West, uh, though you may fear a holocaust that would totally remove the Holy Land from uh, the possession of Israel, though you may fear that, the Bible actually predicts quite the opposite. The Bible predicts that little Israel will become extremely mighty at a particular time in history. Uh, verse 5 of Zechariah 12, again, I want to reread this. It says, And the governors of Judah shall say in their hearts, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be the strength, my strength in the Lord of hosts, their God. These governors of, of Jerusalem, by the way, uh, the word governor there is a translation of the Hebrew eluf, which means a military leader. The military leader, leaders of Judah are going to be the ones who are inspired of God and empowered to overcome the invading armies. And verse 6 says, In that day will I make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood and a torch of fire in a sheaf, and they shall devour all the people round about. On the right hand, on the left... And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. So there in verse 6, uh, the governors of, Jelu of Judah, that is, uh, these Elufim in the Hebrew, which means military leaders, the military leaders of Judah will be like a hearth of fire among the wood and a torch of fire in the sheaf. Now, contextually speaking, uh, this passage, and I, I think, I could look back to at least 10 or 12 expositors that, that I could name who say that Zechariah 12 is positioned prophetically in the days just preceding the Great Tribulation at, or at the very leading edge of that period at least. And so what you have is an invading super army and Israeli military leaders reacting defensively and in the end, uh, burning up their opposition. And the bottom line is, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. And it's kind of fascinating, the wording there. Jerusalem, even in Jerusalem. The, word of the, the, the proper name of the city of Jerusalem is mentioned twice as if to emphasize that Jerusalem is not going to be touched. Jerusalem will be saved and will remain in the possession of the house of David. So, Mr. West, I understand why you would be afraid of a, another holocaust that would deprive the Jews of a homeland, that would deprive Christians of a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. I wouldn't worry about it. The Bible says that when the enemy comes... Israel will be quite sufficient indeed to defend herself. And the defenders here are called the governors of Judah. That is the high military command of Judah. You know, the situation in Israel today looks very much like Bible prophecy depicts it. Uh, things are shaping up, uh, in my opinion, to, into a very recognizable pattern that we have read about again and again in Scripture. So uh, keep watching, keep looking at Scripture, keep reading, pray about it, keep watching prophecy in the news, and of course, above all, keep looking up. <laughs>